year it's your girl two degrees no job and in this video I'm going to show you all how to make a radiator cover now I don't know about y'all but in New York City a lot of these houses have these ugly radiators here is the inspiration we're starting off with measurements first up we have the measurements of the actual radiator which is 25 by 42 however because this will be transmitting heat I don't want the wood to actually be touching so what we're doing is rounding up to 27 by 45 inches let's get started I am a visual learner and in this diagram you can see I have three pieces of wood and this is the structure that I'm creating so I'm gonna head over to the hardware store a few moments later which means that the nails will be invisible. Remember these measurements I showed you earlier? Good. Well, I also told you that I went to the hardware store and you saw me make these pocket holes. Now, I'm going to build what appears kind of like a console and you're gonna see here that I'm using wood glue and I'm also drilling some nails through these pocket holes that I made. I told you it would make sense. So basically the structure is the base of the radiator cover. Let me flip it for you. Ah! Not a nail in sight, you know what I'm saying? All smooth. Moving along now, we're going to be building the frame that's going to be displayed in the front of this radiator cover. It's your girl P here. And I am interrupting this message for yet another diagram. Because like I said, your girl is visual. So here you go. In this diagram, I'm using four pieces of wood which make up a frame. Keep watching. For this portion, I'm going to start by cutting this one by 10 into half. One of the weirdest parts about doing this stuff is that people stare at you. More specifically, men. So I don't know if you can see them, but there's this guy in a car. Honestly, at this point, pocket holes are our best friends. So let's make more. what they look like. out of measurement. I'm going to strategically place this piece of wood. I want it to sit inside of the structure that I just made. So I'm going to place it over the top, making sure that it is aligned. And on the side where it is sticking out is where I'm going to take a pen, pencil, and just trace the bottom of it. And then that will indicate the piece that I have to cut off. 
So as you can see, we cut all the pieces for the frame and now we're just gonna put them together using my drill. And this is why I said that pocket holes are best friends. Once this is all put together, there's not gonna be not even one nail in sight, which is gonna make this radiator cover look so much better. Also, shout out to my bestie. Is that my bestie in a classy? Stop. Shout out to my bestie right here in this video. He really helped me. He's shy though, so I'm not gonna show him, but shout outs to him. we are going to be installing the wire sheet for this you just want to make sure that you make the right measurements because once you cut honey you cannot go back so get yourself some shears and just cut away to attach the metal sheet using some screws and my drill. This is my favorite video. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Let me know what you all think. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'ma see ya. Peace. Sweetheart, since you still watching or whatever, like, what's up? Watch my other videos. Like, I do home decor and DIY videos every two weeks. Feel free to also follow me on Instagram. It's at two degrees no job.